Yo, what is up people? How are you guys doing? Today I am checking out my brand new e-bike. This right here is the Hemiway Zebra. Let's check it out. Here we go guys, the Hemiway Zebra. So this e-bike is basically a beefed up version of the Hemiway Cruiser. I love my Hemiway Cruiser. I put thousands and thousands of miles on it. Until today, that thing is still running. That's why I'm so excited that they actually released this thing. First impression, this bike is fat. I'm not talking about the tires. I'm talking about the frame. Look at this. Look at the seat stay and the chain stay. Look at the down tube the top two. So they pretty much upgraded the material on the frame to a 6061 high grade aluminum. That's why this e-bike can actually hold up to 400 pounds. And because of that, this e-bike is kind of heavy, 79 pounds. So this e-bike got an upgraded motor. Hemiway claims that the new 750 motor has 86 Newton meters of torque and it dissipates heat better than the old one. So the drivetrain is still the same, Shimano Altus. And the upgraded thing here is the Tektro hydraulic disc brakes and it just looks really neat. So in the cockpit, they stick with their classic display, classic controller, classic leather imitation grips and twist throttle, you know, still the same seven speed shifter and the bell. And again, the main upgrade here is the Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. This thing looks really neat. So on the rotors, still the same. I think this is 100 and 180 millimeters front and back. You guys see that? Tektro disc brakes caliper and right here the rack is actually fatter. There was a plywood over here that has the Hemiway logo but I left it at the house because I had to put my son's bike seat at the back you know because we was riding together the other day and the backlight now is upgraded. Look at that. Very nice and very bright and they included this reflector over here. So let's check out the front light. This thing is way brighter right now it's kind of you know it's daylight of course you know you can't really see it and use it but at night this thing is pretty bright again with a reflector on it and it looks very neat look at that one of the neatest headlight that i've ever seen on e-bike plastic fenders front and back but i had to remove the front fender because i just like the way it looks and soon i'm going to remove the rear rack and the rear fender because this thing looks mean without fenders you know it looks like a fat aggressive electric mountain bike. The controller is actually tucked in here now. It's part of the frame now. So the old Hemiway Cruiser, the controller was kind of like bolt in right here and the battery is on the top. The tires are Kenda Crusade 26 by four with this nice reflector over here. I've used Kenda Crusades and they last for a long time and it's pretty grippy too, you know? You can't go wrong with Kenda. The forks are still the same, the blackout 110 millimeter travel fork that has this little uh, controller here. So basically you can lock it out or adjust the damping. And I think this is one of my favorite parts right here, the saddle. The saddle not too big not too small not too soft not too stiff there are two springs down there and so far it's working pretty good on my bum overall for $1,800 up to $1,999 this is probably the meanest rear hub electric bike that you can get I said $1,800 to $1,999 because you know sometimes price will fluctuate because you know sometimes they're having sales but again this e-bike is pretty beefed up you know you got upgraded motor and the frame looks really nice the frame is very rigid it can hold up to 400 pounds so all you big boys out there here we go you can actually ride an e-bike right now without worrying that it's gonna break. So yeah, I guess uh, let's start riding it because the bugs are killing me already. All right, right now we are doing zero pedal assist and let me tell you, this thing is heavy. So let me go to pedal assist one. And here we go, it's already kicking in. So pedal assist one, I can go up to 12, 12 miles an hour. Pedal assist two, dang. Pedal assist two, 16 miles an hour. Pedal assist three. Oh wow, 20 miles an hour. Let me slow down. Pedal assist four, how fast we can go. All right, let me see how fast we can go here. 22 miles an hour, 22.5. And pedal assist five, baby, let's do it. All right, how fast we can go. 25 miles an hour. <laughs> All right, let's go out on the road and see how fast we can go with this e-bike. So pedal assist one on the road is, all right, what is it? Same thing, 12, 13 miles an hour. Pedal assist two, 16.5 miles an hour. Pedal assist three, 20 miles an hour. 
Pedal assist four. All right, come on. 23, 23.6 miles an hour. Pedal assist five. Yes. Fast we can go. 25 miles an hour. I noticed that when it hits 25 miles an hour, the motor kind of cuts off a little bit. So I guess this bike is limited to 25 miles an hour max speed, you know? Rules and regulations on e-bikes, kind of normal, but you know me, full throttle. I don't use pedals on my e-bikes, just throttle. So we're just gonna be throttling this on the road and in the trails. Let's do it. All right, I stopped by my fishing spot real quick to check out the tide. Oh man, it's a good day for fishing today overcasted and I forgot to tell you guys that the range of this e-bike is actually around 60 to 80 miles and it will take you seven hours to charge the battery that's plenty of mileage but for me I think it depends on how heavy you are depends on the terrain so I think probably realistically 50 miles per charge all right let's get out of here because the bugs are eating me already so we got a little hill up here and this is a pretty good steep hill and the zebra is getting it pretty easy look at that no problem you know what let's do brake check and i got a crazy idea hold on let's turn around here <laughs> and hopefully hopefully i don't hurt myself all right i'm just gonna do this once all right let's go downhill real quick oh yeah the zebra can go just about anywhere and we're gonna do a brake check no all right okay brakes are pretty good i'm not gonna do it again <laughs> Let's keep on rolling. All right, another hill climb test since we're here again. No problem. Not pedaling at all. And the zebra is getting it easy. All right, let's go back to the trails. I like riding the trails. Let's go over here. Nice overcast today and finally the sun is out. Man, come on, I need sunlight today for filming. <laughs> Every time I film here, it's just it's super cloudy and it's raining. That's the story of my life. Handling is actually pretty good because maybe because of the handlebars, you know. Hello. Hi. I gotta slow it down, there's hikers. But anyway, right now I am on a semi-aggressive position. So, you know, the handling is definitely better than the Hemingway Cruiser. I like the zebra. You know, they named this thing the zebra. You know, zebras can go just about anywhere and they can run pretty damn fast like a horse, you know? So yeah, that's probably why they named it the zebra, right? What do you guys think? Comment down below. And again, no pedal here, just full throttle. This is how I use all of my e-bikes, just throttle. <laughs> because I always pedal on my regular bikes anyway, so. Oh yeah, just full throttle, baby. This trail is pretty rowdy too. Oh no, here we go. That's it, it's over. Let's go over here. This is my first time going in this trail, so good luck to me. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going right now, but hey, it's fine. And soon I might use this e-bike for fishing because you know, I got a nice wide back rack at the back, of course. And uh, maybe I can put a cooler there, tackle box, fishing poles on the side. Who knows? We'll see. Man, this is so much fun, dude. Ooh, nice little fire road ride. Full throttle. Oh, yeah. Oh, sheesh. Oh, man, this is pretty rowdy. Ooh. All right, Zebra is getting it pretty good. And the chain is slapping the heck out of that chain stay. <laughs> All right, I don't even know if I'm allowed to be here. All right, I just realized that I've been riding around for 24 miles now and I still got three bars of battery juice. So two bars for 24 miles and then maybe another two bars. So that's 48 miles plus maybe the last bar. Let's say I'm gonna get 10 more miles on that last bar. So yeah, I guess Himuei did their homework on this. You know, it's pretty close to reality almost 60 miles and right now literally I'm just full throttling the whole time I'm barely doing the pedal so yeah the battery pretty good let's stop by real quick here so yeah I just realized I've been riding for 24.2 miles now and as soon as I stopped the battery level indicator from three it went up to four so I guess what Himuei is claiming about the battery mileage on this e-bike 
it's close to reality and again i'm just been you know doing the throttle the whole time and i think i need to get out of here you know it's getting kind of late and i need to eat lunch so i'm gonna go back to the spot and finish this video and that concludes the review and testing of the himaway zero what do you guys think about it comment down below me personally for the price especially if you can get this on sale it's a really good value especially you know for the bigger dudes out there you guys can ride an e-bike without worrying that the bike is gonna break you know everything here most of the parts here are upgraded brakes the motor the the controller the design i mean look at that this bike is a head turner just look at it so yeah i guess that's about it comment down below i will put my affiliate link down in the description and some coupon codes you know if you guys want to buy this you know save you a little bit of money and uh yeah i guess that's about it don't forget to like comment subscribe keep pedaling ride safe and i'll see you guys in my next video peace